Welcome everybody, my name is David Szabó uh, and I do my PhD at the Budapest University of Technologies and, Technology and Economics and my topic is the game theoretical analysis of the emergence of complex networks. Uh, I like to start uh, with two keywords uh, of my topic. Uh, the first is routing policy and the second is uh, network topology. Routing policy is a set of rules and priorities which determines the best communication paths uh, between two nodes in the network uh, during the communication. And I examine uh, how these rules uh, affect the topology formation process of a complex network. Um, I, I use a game theoretical approach for this. Um, I define uh, models in the network formation games framework. I analyze them in a mathematical way, and uh, if the result seems promising, I, uh, I uh, compare uh, my results uh, with the real world network topologies. And open problems and research goals uh, is to, to prepare uh, this network formation games framework uh, to support the analysis of different routing policies and uh, to create uh, models which can produce uh, realistic network uh, topologies. And at this point, uh, the question may arise, uh, why is it important uh, to gain a deeper insight uh, into the effects of the routing policy? And the answer that uh, in every network where there is communication, there is a routing policy. There are a lot of uh, networks which, which can be mentioned. For example, uh, social networks, cellular and neural networks, and also uh, the internet at the level uh, of the autonomous systems. And here is a small example uh, what I'm talking about. How can routing policy drive uh, drives the topology? We <clears throat> have three uh, nodes among which we decide to create a network. And uh, the characteristics of the possible edges uh, defined by a triplet, the latency, the bandwidth, and the reliability. And uh, we can see that according to the used routing policy, we get uh, three different topologies. Picture B is for, uh, for the shortest pass policy. Picture C is for the widest pass, and picture D is for the most reliable pass policy. And uh, at the, in the internet, at the level of the autonomous systems, the used uh, routing policy is the border gateway protocol. And uh, in my work, I, I try to analyze it step by step because uh, it consists a lot of uh, rules. And the first uh, step is <clears throat> to analyze the value-free routing policy. Here is just uh, some example of the valid and the invalid uh, passes during the communication uh, according to the very uh, free routing policy. And uh, I have some results, uh, already some results, uh, which were published in different conferences and uh, journals. I, I think uh, nowadays it is a promising uh, research area. And uh, about the connectivity to the EITI City Labs. Uh, I think the possible outcome of my work uh, could be a topology generator software, which can be used by uh, telecommunication companies uh, for supporting their uh, business decisions, analyzing their peering strategies, um, or, or their cost calculation. And uh, the two pictures on the right side uh, is is from my current work. Uh, it, it is the result uh, of my uh, uh, newly uh, defined model, and it can uh, produce uh, networks which, uh, which are realistic uh, in some features. And my, motivation, my motivation is quite, uh, are quite simple. I have some academic background, and uh, I hope that with the help of the EIT ICT labs, I can get some business background. And uh, I, I'm, plan, uh, I'm planning that uh, I do an academic uh, career and, uh, and a business career at the same time, I hope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it's not uh, clear to me that the rules that were 
uh, used to, to build the uh, embryo of a network that will extend to the to its proliferation. Uh, so, uh, how do you? Uh, sorry, there is also a cost of changing the topology, mm -hmm. where you have to uh, reprogram the routers or uh, take off the switches and uh, the cables. So, uh, I uh, your network. Maybe your topology generator gives you the, uh, the best uh, of, uh, the best way to, to, to program the things, but uh, it might be exp so expensive that you, you won't do it. So it, I don't know what you feel on that. Yes, certainly uh, this is true. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, this, this can be used only for supporting business decisions. Uh, of course, it is hard to change uh, something uh, which, which is done, but uh, in the future, uh, if we do the, analyze, uh, the analysis and, and uh, give it to the company, perhaps they can, they can change uh, uh, the way of, of the network building. Yeah, I, I think this uh, this story of uh, not exactly this story, but this story about the networks and how the networks are developing, how they are changing, how is the, the life cycle, uh, and it, it's really really interesting, really interesting how they can follow. We heard a very interesting presentation. It was not too much presented last week about the peer to peer networks where the the people start to connect to the other people, and and this is this is a it's, it's happened every day, and, and it's, it's really interesting how we can uh, balance and distribute the load of the, the, the system just by fine-tuning some easy rules that how the, the new people connect, who, who to connect the new, who connect, where to connect the new people. And it it's, can be uh, related to this one also, that, uh, that how, how can we, uh, by simple rules, uh, modify the behavior of the, the, the new network. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.